Welcome back. New York City Mayor Eric Adams appears to be joining a long list of mayors skeptical of the New York City press corps who ask him tough questions. So in leaked audio, as Politico reporter Julia Marsh reports, Mayor Adams is cracking down on all city agencies to run their press communications by his office. This after several statements from everyone from the health department to the NYPD has been deemed off message by the mayor. What is imperative to know that you are assigned to an agency and under a commissioner, but you work for me. That's very important to know. The commissioner leads an agency, but I lead the city. I'm the mayor of the city and all communications that comes through this city government is coming through my message. Joining us right now, New York editor for Politico, Julia Marsh. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. So, Thanks for having me. So, Julia, interesting. The mayor is trying to stop leaks, and this report gets leaked to you. <laughs> tell it's us, very, very meta. Yeah, tell us about the report. Um, so, last week, uh, the mayor joined about 50 officials, mostly communications and press officials from city agencies, as you mentioned, everywhere from FDNY to NYPD and the Parks Department to um, hammer home what he calls must be a discipline of, mes of message, you know, one message coming through City Hall. Of course, as, as you mentioned, every mayor has tried to control the message. It's just that several agency officials on the call told me it's never been to this degree. For example, he wants to approve um, a cherry blossom schedule that goes out through the Parks Department or a volunteer tree planting. So it's some saw it as over, over, overly micromanaging. So it's over micromanaging, and I'm wondering what was the reaction inside City Hall yesterday? Did anybody reach out to you? Uh, I did speak with one person who who kind of chuckled that, that it was the talk of City Hall, um, and I did hear from a, a number of other communication officials who were concerned. Um, Adam said this wouldn't happen, but that it would hamper um, their ability to get information out quickly to the public. Now, Julia, this is not new to mayors of New York City. Kind of just take us back to the history of this and, and what we've seen in the past and how this is substantially different. So de Blasio apparently had a similar conversation with his staff at the beginning of his tenure. Um, Michael Bloomberg was also known for, for wanting to, to manage the message. It's just, it's just the level and the seemingly innocuous nature of say, some things like tree plantings mm -hmm. and, and cherry blossom schedules. And this idea that um, Mayor Adams, you know, was formerly the Brooklyn Borough President. He had a staff of 100. He now um, is the boss of, you know, nearly 400,000 municipal workers. And there's some real skepticism among some of his employees that he really can control um, the message coming out of, of that many different agencies. Do you find any irony in all of this, especially when you look back at Mayor Adams' uh, tenure within the NYPD and, and what kind of a police officer he was with that agency? Absolutely. Um, that's something I mentioned in my story is that the mayor was a police officer for 22 years, but he really made his mark as, a, as an activist police officer who worked to reform the department, diversify it from within. He actually, the only uh, disciplinary measure he ever faced was he was docked 15 vacation days for an unauthorized TV appearance. Mm. And, and this is what he's now telling um, his staffers they can't do. Well, he's got his hands full for sure. I mean, Julia, he was on our show last week and I was like, do you ever like say, what did I inherit in New York City? I mean, the city like basically has almost blown up since he's taken office. And, and you know, he's clearly a hard worker. You know, he said in the call, which we've all come to know that, you know, he's up early. He drinks his, his green smoothie, he exercises, and then, you know, he hits the books, he hits the spreadsheets. Um, he's clearly, you know, trying to be a cheerleader for the city at a time when New York City really needs to come back from the pandemic. Um, so, so I certainly sympathize with that. Yeah, and for the most part, he's been accessible, unlike his predecessor, who mm. uh, did not want to deal with a, a tough question at all. Yeah, it's, it's been a little bit mixed. He did get upset when he went up to Albany to try to get some changes to bail reform, and, and reporters simply reported that. He he got angry and, and threatened to limit access, um, but he didn't really follow through on it, and, and he has been largely 
um, you know, available and willing to take questions. It's just that he did say that he thought it was a very aggressive press corps and one that was after a gotcha moment, not an I got you moment. But, you know, this is also, as, as you ladies know, this is New York City. This is um, a major media market. And, um, you know, we're, we're, a, we're a proudly active press corps. Are you are you worried that you may not get any more of these leaked uh, internal Zoom calls or audio messages after after this report? I'm really not because I think the reason um, you know I'm, I'm very glad that that people trust me with the information, and I think just again in a in a city where you have so many uh, public workers, people are inevitably going to get upset. And we're New Yorkers. We like to have our voices heard. So I don't I don't think it's going to result in silencing people. Ah, uh, yes. We all have our opinions, <laughs> don't we, Julia Marsh? We, we sure do. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for coming on. New York editor for Politico. We appreciate your report. Thanks for having me. Hey, it is a tough crowd sometimes here in the city. You know what? what sometimes you when you don't even want somebody's <laughs> opinion, they're going to give it to you. <laughs> that is New York. Including me. I look in the mirror. Are you talking to me, Mike Woods? Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've seen it before. We've all got it. That's mm -hmm. kind of comes with the uh, territory mm -hmm. here. Anyway, let's.